In this video, we'll explain the coordinate systems used in celestial navigation. Every location on our planet has a unique set of terrestrial coordinates consisting of latitude and longitude. These are more commonly referred to as geographic coordinates. Let's assume our planet is a perfect sphere. Latitude, marked as phi in this illustration, is the angle from the equator to the poles, from 0 to 90 degrees north or south from the equator. Latitude lines run parallel to the equator. Longitude, marked as gamma in this illustration, is the angle from the prime meridian, which runs through the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England. Longitude is the angular measure on the terrestrial sphere 180 degrees west or east of the prime meridian. Latitude and longitude are both measured in degrees, arc minutes, and arc seconds, where one degree equals 60 arc minutes and one arc minute equals 60 arc seconds. There is also a coordinate system for the celestial sphere similar to geographic latitude and longitude. Every point in the celestial sphere maps to one point on the terrestrial sphere, but due to the rotation of the Earth and the motion of the Sun, Moon, and planets, these points move in time. In navigation, the celestial coordinate system uses Greenwich hour angle and declination to describe these positions in the celestial sphere. There is a celestial equator which maps to the equator of the Earth. There is also a Greenwich celestial meridian which maps to the terrestrial prime meridian. Greenwich hour angle, abbreviated GHA, is an angular measure along the celestial equator westward from the Greenwich celestial meridian, similar to longitude. Declination, abbreviated DEC, is an angular measure north or south from the celestial equator, similar to latitude. GHA can be measured in degrees or in time, where 24 hours equals 360 degrees, hence the term hour angle. In navigation, both GHA and declination are measured in degrees, arc minutes, and arc seconds. At any given moment, every celestial body may be mapped to the Earth, as there is one point in the terrestrial sphere where the celestial body lies directly overhead. This is called the celestial body's geographic position, or GP. If you were standing at the geographic position, the celestial body would be directly overhead, known as the zenith. Measured from any point on the horizon, the angle of this celestial body would be 90 degrees. Astronavigation allows for determining your geographic position by measuring the angle from the local horizon to the celestial body and determining a line of position, which is actually a circle on the terrestrial sphere. Locally, however, these circles can be treated as straight lines. By obtaining a line of position for two or more celestial bodies, these lines should intersect to mark your position. This process involves knowing the geographic position of the celestial body at a given time and solving some spherical trigonometry. By using publications produced by the US Navy and their UK partners, spherical trig calculations are replaced by tables and this process is greatly simplified. Only addition and subtraction are needed to complete a site reduction form and obtain a line of position. This concludes our video on coordinate systems. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video on plotting a line of position by clicking this link.